What inspired Save Me? I'm gonna give you guys a warning, a heads up. Toxic relationships. It was weird how everything was working because it was like, I didn't like being around her, but at the same time, she was the only one that made me feel like I could be myself around. That's why I was like, this is literally driving me insane. It doesn't make any sense. And that's when I made the song actually. At my house, it's just a little room set up, you know, the Mac. Got the mic right next to it, and then two speakers, and I just was recording it, just engineering myself, everything. It took about, like, probably 20, 20 minutes to make the song pretty quick, but it was like, I meant it. <laughs> we were arguing on the phone while I, was, while I was actually watching the movie, and I forgot what exactly she said, but she said something that set me straight off. I was like, oh, okay, all right, but I'm going to make a song about this, because you driving me crazy. So save me from my mind, save me, cause baby I've been going insane, and I don't want to lose my life, save me, and you're the one that keeps me sane, so save me from my mind, save me, save me. Save me, so save me from my mind, save me. I personally don't think I'm ready to be in like a love type of situation or whatever. So being at that age, which was like 16 when I was in it, it was just too much, too much going on. <laughs> While I'm trying to focus on music, I was literally, literally going crazy. Cause young love, it was just, it's something that I feel like is not real, but if you're young and you're doing that type of stuff, it feels like it's real. Baby, why ain't you replying? Yeah, I just want to tell you something. Can't you see that I'm trying? See you crying in the distance. I'm attempting to, you know, keep this strong, keep this what it is. And you're not showing me that same amount of, you know, attention back. And I feel like it needs to be both ways around, like, feel like we're both wanting each other as much as I want her. So tell me where you going, cause I'm worried about ya. And I just wanna take it to your heart like a voucher. A voucher, right? That's, um, it's a ticket, right? It's a ticket to something. Metaphorically, I was like, I wish you could invite me in to your heart, you know? Like, I wish you could invite me, send me a some type of message, send me some type of way to actually communicate with you. And I can't bear the thought of leaving you cause I want yours. Baby, text me back so we can talk in Omega. I feel like if you just talk it out, settle your differences, it'll be fine. Like, I just, like, that's the one thing I feel like in love, I, I never really got to really see done right yet is communication. That's been always a problem, really, which leads to a lot of my songs. <laughs> Turn me to a madman. Text you like what's happening. It was making me feel like I was unfocused from everything else and focused on trying to fix that rather than worried about myself, trying to make myself better or whatever. And it also had a lot of toll on like friends and stuff, you know, because when you get in love with something like that, it's like in my situation at least, I was rather in a, you know, hang out with her than Hang out with like friends and everything. Can't find your heart, I'll map it. If you want mine, you can have it. I'm gonna find it. I, I, I gotta, you know, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> Whatever that spark is to revamp this. That part, honestly, that's like, that's my favorite part. That's my favorite lyric. I'll find you, I'll, you know, fix this. We'll get this together. Everything will be fine. I don't know where you've been, so take my hand. And don't forget, we don't have time to realm on this, cause we have this, and I'll forgive. Hey! See, I'm not stubborn at all. Like, if somebody that I care about, like, if they apologize in some way, like, after, you know, something messed up, I'm pretty forgiving. Cause I like to give, like, second chances, like, all that type of stuff. That's just me. It didn't end pretty. <laughs> It was, a, it was a pretty ugly situation. I'm so happy like I'm out of it now. I can focus on way better things now, but at that time, nah, it just didn't end well at all.